Hey you guys, this is Dr. Jenny J. Hee-Jun. I am here to go over all of the things you could possibly do for mouthwashes, throat sprays, and everything like that before your dental visit or before you go out or after you brush your teeth. Um, so right now, the ADA has recommended the use of povidone iodine or hydrogen peroxide. So povidone iodine in 0.2% solution the hydrogen peroxide in 1 to 1.5% solution. So I am going to be trying these today and I will tell you how tolerable it is, how intolerable it is, what I would recommend in terms of the tolerability. And yeah, so let's start. All right, we're gonna start out with hydrogen peroxide. We're gonna try, okay, let's try 3%, just pure hydrogen peroxide. All right, one tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna try it. This is what I just spat out. It's all foam. It literally looks like some whipped cream. I'm gonna go rinse my mouth out because I'm literally foaming from the mouth like I have rabies or something. Hold on. It wasn't that bad. It's fine. It just kind of feels like you're whipping cream in your mouth because it keeps foaming up. Alright, let's try 1.5%. So I'm gonna do one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide and one tablespoon of water. It's still really foamy. I think I kind of prefer the 3% but it's still really foamy, so I'm gonna go rinse out. What is next? 1% hydrogen peroxide? All right, let's do this. And by the way, you have to dilute this right before you use it because hydrogen peroxide decays in the presence of light. So once you make it, you should just use it. still kind of foamy. I still have to rinse out because I still feel the foam in my mouth. This is it for hydrogen peroxide. I have tried out pretty much all the percentages that were recommended or that have been used in previous studies. So up to 3% hydrogen peroxide has been routinely used in the mouth for mouthwashes. I don't know if you noticed, but I keep spitting out because there's a lot of foam that just keeps coming up from nowhere, even after I've rinsed my mouth. So definitely after hydrogen peroxide, there's a lot of foam that is produced. Okay, going on to povidone iodine. So this I'm going to dilute to 0.2%. And this is just insanely small amounts of povidone iodine. It's, it's one drop for every 10 teaspoons. That is basically 0.05 milliliters for every 49.95 milliliters and that produces 0.2% dilution from the 10% povidone iodide. Okay. That might have been two, but that's okay. <laughs> you can't even tell that there's povidone iodine in here. I wonder if they meant 2% weight by volume. I'll try that too. Okay. Okay, that wasn't actually that bad. You can kind of smell the iodine, but it's not too bad. It definitely doesn't foam up like the hydrogen peroxide does. It does say that the povidone iodine is used for external use only, but I think once you dilute it this much, it's not really going to have any effect other than the povidone iodine that might be useful. Let's do povidone iodine percent solution. I'm gonna have a really clean mouth today. Too bad there isn't anyone. Just need one teaspoon. So this is two percent solution. Mm -hmm. That actually wasn't that bad. When I spit out, I do smell that iodine smell. It's not as bad as the the foaming up production of whatever the hydrogen peroxide did. I do kind of want to wash my mouth out because I still smell that smell. 
Okay, but it's actually not that bad. This last one is going to be the Korean version of the povidone iodine spray. And basically what this has is water, povidone iodine, xylitol, propylene, glycol, and menthol for flavor. So I'm going to try that. I'm gonna keep this in my mouth for 60 seconds. I'm guessing the betadine will be very similar to the Korean version of it. Um, so this is also betadine. This is the betadine Korean one. It's my first time trying this one. Oh, this is like a throat spray. Whereas this one is like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so this one has more of a spray all around. This one's like a, it's like a straight to the back of your throat kind of a thing. I think you'll have to be careful to not aspirate this. <laughs> so those were all of the products that were recommended to use during this COVID-19 virus situation. In my opinion, <laughs> The most bang for your buck will be the hydrogen peroxide or the povidone iodine. And probably the povidone iodine you'll be able to dilute in large amounts and not really run out. So I think that definitely should be one of the options. I think all of these products are tolerable at least. So I would use it in my practice if it would reduce risk of COVID-19. I keep spitting out because I just have so many things in my mouth. So I hope you found this video informative. I hope you will keep yourself safe, your family safe, and your patients safe. And um, I hope to see you in the next video. Please subscribe, please like, please comment as to what you're doing in your practice so we can keep each other updated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!